What did Jesus have to say about homosexuality? You know, by and large, the American culture is aggressively promoting the lifestyle of homosexuality. And many people who call themselves Christians are giving in and they're saying that this lifestyle is okay despite God's clear teachings against it. And one very common argument used to support homosexuality is that Jesus Christ didn't explicitly condemn the practice. You know, supposedly, since Jesus never stated word for word, homosexuality is a sin, then He approved of it. Now, this reasoning has got several problems. First, Jesus told His followers that He didn't have time while He was on earth to teach them all that they needed to know. He said that the Holy Spirit would come and remind them of the things He had taught and would include additional teachings. You see, when we look into the inspired writings of the New Testament, we see the authors boldly stating that homosexuality is a sin. So it's wrong to suggest that only the words in red are Jesus' teachings. Now, on the contrary, He foretold that more instructions would be provided after His return to heaven. And second, even if Jesus didn't explicitly condemn the practice, although He did and we'll see that in a minute, that certainly couldn't be used as evidence of Him condoning the practice and saying it was alright. You know, for instance, where does Jesus explicitly state that bestiality is wrong? Where's the scripture that says polygamy is wrong that comes from Jesus' mouth? Where are the words in red that specifically condemn pedophilia? Are we to suppose that the Son of God condone using crystal meth because there's not an explicit command from Jesus saying, do not use crystal meth? The idea that silence from Jesus on a subject means He approved of the practice. You can't sustain that with proper reasoning. And finally, consider that Jesus did, in fact, speak against homosexuality. Several times in God's Word, Jesus condemned things like fornication or sexual immorality or adultery. Now, these terms describe any type of sexual intercourse that is not within the confines of a marriage ordained by God. Jesus also defined God's view of a morally permissible marriage as marriage between one male, one man, and one female. By doing so, He effectively condemned all other arrangements, including one man and two women, one woman and one woman, one man and one man, one woman and one animal, one woman and three men, one woman and five men, one woman and a man and an animal. You see where that would go. You see the overwhelming logic of this. For Jesus to have to explicitly condemn every assortment of genders and numbers, it'd be absurd. When He defined marriage between one man and one woman, He clearly showed that that is the only arrangement authorized by God. You know, several years ago, a man named Corey Moore legally married his Gibson guitar. In 2006, a woman married a dolphin. Jesus never said one word about refraining from marrying a dolphin or a guitar. But does that mean his silence should be viewed as approval? Now, not in any way. You see, homosexuality is a sin. It's always been. It always will be. To suggest that Jesus approves of homosexuality because He never expressly condemned it cannot be sustained logically. It can't be defended on any type of moral grounds. It's deceptive. The person who claims to be a Christian and yet supports homosexuality misunderstands the teachings of Christ. You know, a person who would do that needs to repent, needs to turn from that kind of thinking. Homosexuality is a sin. It's a sin that a person can repent of. It's a sin that a person can change. It's a lifestyle that a person can leave and follow Christ. That's what needs to happen because Jesus never condoned homosexuality.